Ooh, no, I was blind. <laughs> and now I can see. Nearly one year ago today, maybe a few months away, will be the anniversary of the day that I first clapped eyes on Joe Manganaro's video of Texas. Frightmare weekend. Ooh. And lo, that day was perfect day that I decided in my hungover state that I should attend the next Texas Frightmare weekend. And thus I did play and slay and accomplish all my tasks. I saved away and so did my wife. And we got the money for the flights and all the bits all the savings and this fellow this horror fellow the Joe Mancanaro because of him and his video I am now nearly ready to bless the state of Texas with myself now on top of all of the greatness that he has helped me to achieve in one year from my fucking horror badge and the lovely Joe Manganaro House of Horror badge that I created. Just not only all those wondrous things have occurred since that Halloween day that I, Paul Clements and my wife hung over, did watch that glorious video but he has now restored my sight for I was blind. I didn't even know how blind I was. And so today I went to my local shopping mall and had my eyes tested so that I don't miss any of the sights when I go to Texas and go to Austin. And the woman there said unto me, you, I, can't believe that you can even watch TV with your eyes that blind. And now she gave me these expensive glasses on this Halloween day. And now this is the day that Joe Manganaro has allowed a blind man to see. For I now wear glasses for the first time in 20 years. And I can see as far as my mind Purveys my fucking eyes survey the furthest corners of the land. And seriously though, I feel like a new man. I can see everything. I can see so clearly. I didn't realise I was so blind. I don't like seeing people's faces, so that didn't bother me. I can see things up close, so it didn't bother me. I've never, ever... Realised I was fucking virtually blind. I had glasses when I was 14. You know, and I just lost them one day and stopped wearing them. And since then I've been going around and I didn't even realise I'm fucking blind. I had no idea how blind I was. So thank you to Joe Manganaro for inspiring this year of greatness in my life. I've made this awesome fucking jacket. Uh, not just the way I may, I would have probably made this anyway, but what is he doing? I've certainly uh, improved bits of my life in that year just because I saw I watched that video and I saw Joe going around Texas Prime and I thought, I want to meet those people, I want to fucking go to a horror convention because there ain't any good ones in, in England. Well, I've never been to any that are near me anyway, they're all up fucking north, and uh. Just in this one year, you know, I've made pins. I've fucking made lots of cool friends. When, uh, incidentally, I know um, Eric Horamancave 
from the Boglins collector community and the Critters collector community. So I already knew him. So when I saw him on Joe's video, I was like, shit, I know people there. This guy is going to some random shit in some random country. And I know a guy there anyway. Like, it obviously looked good. And obviously, I'm a massive Charles Band fan. So, uh, seeing him there as well made me want to go. But I mean, look, I'm looking at myself in this video. I'm, I haven't worn glasses for 20 years. So, I actually look alright. I look like a ser I actually do look like a serial killer, to be honest. I look like I'm like, <sighs> hello. I'm like a, oh, I look like a fucking weird, like. <laughs> I do, I look fucking weird, I look like mass murderer, fucking Paul Clements, what the fuck, oh, I quite like it, I quite look, like looking like a fucking mass murderer, it's quite good, but yeah, I don't know, I quite like it, let me know what you think of these specs, but I can see so good, today has been like a life changing experience in my life, I've never realised that I was blind, I just thought the world was a blur, which kind of helps when you've, you know, spent your life partying and taking drugs and stuff. The world's a blur anyway, isn't it? But uh, getting a bit older now, like, I don't fucking do that as much. And uh, I live on top of a hill now, whereas I lived down in a valley before. So now I can see these big views and I'm, like, straining my eyes to see them all the time. Just fucking whack him. He's being a shit. Daddy. Fucking dog. The dog is driving up the fucking wall, barking. Bring him here, look. He show him to the, show him to the, he, did, he was barking before us fucking what, started doing this. <laughs> look, put glasses on him. Glasses, <laughs> you must wear some glasses. <laughs> he didn't stand at me, man. Wave. So there you go. That's it, now I've got glasses. I can finally see for the first time in 20 years. Oh yeah. See beautiful face. And I'm also really excited to see Rick Flair look. Make him wave for a minute while I go and get that fucking new toy. I can't. Oh. Yeah, and in preparation of Texas Fright Man <laughs> weekend, Hades bought me this Ric Flair figure. Ric Flair with the sick hair. I actually love Ric Flair. And um, all my life, whenever I've um, had like a, I would say like a near nervous breakdown, when I've been rowing with um, my wife or I've uh, had a row with uh, one of my mates or I've been pissed or drunk, whenever I've had like almost a nervous, oh, there's another dog. Whenever I've had a near nervous breakdown, people say, well, she says, apparently I turned into Ric Flair. And um, I start personifying Ric Flair. Woo! I start going mental, like, the amount of times that I've uh, had a drunken row or gone mad. People say I am, I become Ric Flair. I stole this um, from a pub. Shut up, Ted. Just put her down. Tell us. That's what I mean. Shut up. That's not Yeah, so. Yeah, I stole this once. And from a pub when I was hammered. And I ended up uh, turning into Ric Flair and swinging it around. Saying I was going to kill someone in the town centre with it and uh, that's a true story it's a sad story because obviously it's not very really nice but uh, sometimes that's just the way it is but yeah look at fucking little Ric Flair he's, in a, he's the old Ric Flair he's got a bit of a weird face actually but I still like it it's still really, he's kind of like the they made they ruined him a bit they made him like brain dead or something and he kept, had the lisp and he was just you know preferred him when he was like fucking whoa you know and then they sort of made him a bit dark but he looks kind of cool I like so he's got really good articulation in the arms and then none in the legs really weird <gasps> the dog's fighting <laughs> what are you doing he's <laughs> What is it? <laughs> 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 
attention. You're not getting my attention. Leave me alone, you rats. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not being bullied by you, you bloody dogs. <laughs> and there you go. Oh, a cough made my face red. So that's it. Thank you very much, uh, everybody. Tell me how you look, how you think I look in these glasses. Tell me if you're excited to meet me at fucking Texas Frightmare. Tell me about your life. Tell me what you love, what you hate, who your friends are, where'd you go, what do you see, what's your name, how do I find you, what's your mum's name, I'll kill your mum, I'm gonna murder your mum, bitch, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill your mum, bitch. Yeah, so all of that, my face has gone red, it's from that cough. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get rid of a cough recently, you know. Glasses. They definitely look like serial killers. So yeah, I've got glasses. Glasses. You broke my glasses. My glasses. So there you go. I look like a fucking cult. A cult guy. You want a stress test? <laughs> Yeah, I quite like it. It's all right.